it's time to stop, drop, and roll right into our next video. For the next two weeks, we'll be exploring the history of the Richmond Fire Department, starting off with this incredible leather fire bucket. This bucket belonged to James Henry Gardner, and while much of the painted surface has been lost, you can just about make out his name and Richmond Fire Society stenciled on the front in gold lettering. The Richmond Fire Society was one of the first organized firefighting brigades in Richmond and began in April 1816. Made up entirely of volunteers, each member was responsible for outfitting themselves with two of their own water buckets, two bags, and a bed socket key, which were tools used to unbolt heavy, valuable wooden bed frames in order to remove them from burning houses, after any people had been rescued, of course. James Henry Gardner would have been around 20 years old at the time of the society's formation, which means use of this bucket likely dates to that period and into the 1820s. Gardner likely purchased it as part of his personal equipment and having it customized with his name meant that it was easier to return to its owner after being used to pass water during a bucket brigade. Several other volunteer firefighting companies were established throughout Richmond shortly after this time. Competition between these companies to put out fires was incredibly fierce, sometimes even to the detriment of subduing the actual blaze but it wasn't until 1830 that the city used municipal funds to purchase firefighting equipment and make improvements to the city's water supply system. However, buckets like these continue to be frequently used in bucket brigades in order to supply water to hand-pumped fire engines and portable extinguishers with water from the canals, wells, or even the James River. Finally, on October 25th, 1858, Richmond City Council passed an ordinance disbanding the volunteer fire companies and creating the paid Richmond Fire Department in its place. Soon after, in 1860, local Richmond manufacturer Edinger and Edmonds introduced the first steam-powered fire engine, which was mounted to the back of a horse-drawn wagon and could send plumes of water 50 feet in the air. The engine wagons were then followed by a second horse-drawn wagon containing ladders and fire hoses, which were attached to the steam pump on site of the fire. By the end of the 19th century, the Richmond Fire Department employed 70 permanent firefighters and 62 call men or paid volunteers, divided across 12 engine companies stationed throughout the city. The force also included nine steam engines, one chemical engine, 12 hose wagons, and over 40 horses. But you'll have to tune in to next week's video to learn how they modernized these to motorized vehicles in the 20th century. To connect to more Richmond history, come visit us at the Valentine Museum and look forward to more videos on great objects in our collection coming soon.